This was a handmade sketch and this is what AI generated for me for free. Next, I can take any product, click a basic picture and get photo shoot level images. 99% of the people I speak to are unaware of this free tool. But today, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tour of how it works. Do you remember this TV show where they showed a magic pencil that could convert any sketch into a real object? Turns out, this free AI tool can do the same. In fact, you can take any basic photo of a product and replace its background and create photo shoot level images. You can make yourself look like a legit model with different outfits and background options. None of these features are easily available in Mid Journey or Dali 3. And the best part is that you can try all of these features for free. But Anch, how do we make money out of this? How is this useful in day-to-day -day life? So in this video, I'll cover three most powerful features of this tool along with the exact target customer to which you can sell these solutions as a service. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so you need to visit promeai.pro and create a free account. You'll find the link in description. Once done, this is how Prom will look like. Let me first show you the first feature, which is sketch rendering. Basically, you can make any rough sketch, upload it on Prom and make it come to life with super realistic textures and rendering. Let me show you how it works. Once you sign into Prom, you'll have all of their features available in the dashboard. Let's start with sketch rendering. Sketch rendering basically allows you to upload any line drawing, anything that you've made from a pencil and then convert it into a realistic image. So I had asked a lot of people on my Instagram to send their sketches and thank you so much for everyone who sent their ideas. Uh, let me show you this first sketch. So Swapnil Raj had sent me this very cool drawing of a kitchen, right? Now, if you're an interior designer or an architect, obviously you start from here. But now once I have this image, I can go to style where inside my style, I can either go to anime or something which is around photography or conceptual art or illustration or maybe something which is very unique. So in this specific case, I am trying to create a picture. So I will stick to photography and I will stick to realistic. In my scene, I can choose what am I trying to create. So in this specific case, it is an interior so if I go to interior, I have multiple options, whether it's a floor plan, living room, kitchen, bedroom. This specific sketch is of a kitchen. So I will simply select kitchen. However, if I go to scene elements, you can see that there are specific templates for almost every single scene element, every single part of your room. If you go to commercial space, you have office space, retail outlets, dining establishments, and it's crazy because here also I can go to scene elements and get ideas for the entrance, for the window displays, for shelves. If you're going towards landscape design, they have multiple options. Uh, they have options for fashion design, jewelry design, consumer electronics. So the point here is that you can make any rough sketch exactly specify prom that this is what I'm trying to do and it would come up with better ideas. The sketch that we have is for interior. So it is my responsibility to go to interior in interior scene, select kitchen. Then in my mode, I have three options. One is outline, which would basically preserve most of the outlines that the real sketch has. Then we have depth that is very, very good for real life photos. And then we have precision concept that would make sure that the final image looks really, really close to the sketch. So the outlines will be intact. If you want to add a specific reference, you can do that as well. So let's keep this very, very simple. And I will simply click on generate. And now what it will do is it will give me three iterations. So I gave a sketch, selected my filters, and in less than 60 seconds, it would come up with three different options as to how that kitchen can look like. And you will be shocked to see how good this is. All right, so we have our renders ready. And let me show you one of these. So if I click on this image, Prom basically gives you two views. One is side by side. And the one that really, really opens up my mind is the slider feature. Because here you can actually see how crazy this looks like. Can you see how it has managed to recreate every single component, every single thing it has created it with such high detail. So this is extremely useful. And you can obviously download the HD version here as well. So this is basically uh, the low resolution version because this is still a preview. But imagine how powerful this can be for any person. And I was doing this for a lot of things. So I was basically uh, trying to explore this for like a very random jewelry design artwork as well. And basically if I go here, uh, they had a couple of filters. Let me show you what it had created. So this is what it had essentially created. And let me show you the slider view. You would obviously say that it looks weird simply because of my terrible drawing. 
but see how seamless this has been it is so crazy and this is so powerful for people who are in the product design industry and unfortunately very few people know about it and all of these tests can be done for free so let me show you this house render that i was trying i'll go back to the slider mode this was my original render can you imagine it was something as terrible as vague as this and it was able to recreate it because i chose specific filters i went really deep into how this thing should analyze my image but then what kind of businesses can you sell this as a service your target audience can be designers architects product developers fashion designers and marketing professionals and your course services can be of two kinds number 1 is rapid prototyping which means you can sell this to designers and architects who want to quickly move from concept sketches to detailed renders because all of these professionals currently waste a lot of time rendering their sketches for client presentations number 2 product visualization there are so many fashion and interior designers who would love to have someone like you on their team because this service can help them create much better ideas in one tenth of time Fashion, footwear and packaging designers spend so much time finding better ideas and you can help them save that time. If you're working in any of these industries, comment below. I want to know if this thing can save you some time or not. Next, we come to background diffusion. Basically, you can click normal phone pictures and convert them into professional shots that look like this and you have so many filters to choose from. So now we come to background diffusion where you can take pictures of any of the products if you have a startup if you have a product to sell you can create really really hyper realistic backgrounds and this includes your couches sofa sets basically any product whatsoever so i had this image right here with me which is a picture of a perfume that i own and i wanted to check how good this would be uh when it comes to editing the background so let's just say i click this i am sort of reselling this perfume i have a website or maybe i'm working as a freelancer for a person who's selling product and that person does not have a big budget i can take that picture step 1 here is that it would erase the background so now i have my uh specific perfume bottle in isolation the next step here is that i will go to these filters and you can either have a custom background where you can decide what you want to do if you select pure color you will have basic solid backgrounds and if you're trying to create a photo shoot of a small object whether it's perfume or a bottle or a box then you have to go to small objects and within small objects they have a ton of templates available so it could be around set design a specific indoor setting where you have so many cool things then the outdoor setting is there let's go to indoor because i have a nice perfume and i will simply select rustic cabin if i was selling indoor furniture i have so many categories here to choose from that you can take your furniture item and just you know go absolutely unbelievable levels of creativity and if you have your own portrait you can change backgrounds for that as well right now i've picked a small object so i'll go to indoor and let's go back and let's probably select i actually had liked this rustic cabin one ha ah, this one and here in my scale i can actually change the size as well so maybe i want something which is 2 is to 3 or maybe 9 is to 16 maybe i'm making an instagram story and here in my precision i can go maybe till 70% so 70% precision is a good setting now you can obviously see i've tried this before i also tried this for my sandal i also tried this for my water bottle for shoes and you won't believe so i'll show you a uh, while it's rendering the bottle thing this was my real sandal i had clicked this from my phone and then this is what it had created notice the shadows the camera quality the pictureization the warmth everything has been top notch look at this image right here folks this is unbelievable and very few people know about it look at the shadow at the bottom i don't know if you can see this uh, let me keep this side by side can you see this can you see how seamlessly it has positioned this thing and you know these small small things they matter a lot i personally feel that this this thing is the game changer right and let's see if it has already rendered and yeah here you go so i just created this in front of you uh and it's just so so incredible this can be so useful for people who are selling you know items all around if you have a department store if you have a small e-commerce store there is so much that you can do with this for background diffusion your target audience can be photographers small businesses on amazon india mart ebay and marketing agencies with cosmetic and fmcg clients and your core service can be around product photography now this is very straightforward 
you can offer e-commerce businesses better quality product images in various settings and help them cut down the costs of multiple photo shoots. Now you can tweak this for different target customers. For photographers, you can do this for their products and models. For marketing agencies, you can do this for FMCG or cosmetic clients. I was personally very impressed by this feature because I keep noticing product pages with terrible images online. And there are so many businesses that have great products, yet because of the bad pictures, they end up losing sales. And if you're on my Instagram broadcast, you'd already know the number of design inspirations I share anytime I go out for a travel or even a basic trip. If you haven't joined it, by the way, scan this QR code so that you can be a part of those design discussions. I put in a lot of things on broadcast that are never uploaded anywhere else. Now, let me show you the last demo, which is called AI Supermodel. And it can help you change your outfits, backgrounds, and hairstyles. It's absolutely amazing. Even though there is a lot to do here, uh, let's quickly go through AI Supermodel because I personally feel this is going to be very, very useful for creators in general. So you can actually create unlimited AI models. You can put in your own picture and sort of change different aspects of your picture. So let's just say I take this specific picture right here. I've been running this on multiple of these images. Uh, let me show you how this works. So some important techniques, they have this thing called auto selection, which basically allows you to select areas that you do not want to change. So let's just say I only want to change my outfit, right? So I will select my face, my hair, uh, the background, even my hands. I don't want these things to change. So you can auto select these yourself. Otherwise, if you go to manual selection, you can increase the border radius and simply select everything that you want uh, this image to have. So I don't want any of these things to change. So let me just take my hand and uh, I'll probably take this thing as well. And let's just make sure that all of these things are sorted properly. And what I'll do is I'll go to my model section. Uh, if I'm a male, I'll have to select any of these hairstyles if you want to. Uh, so I can probably keep, you know, something interesting. Let's try maybe Eastern European. And in my model settings, I can switch between hairstyles, age, you know, your body size, whether you're like uh, a small size or a medium size. So this is about the outfit. So you have to choose that. So I'll just select a uh, medium. I'll go to my expression confidence works. And in my clothes, let's try denim jacket and let's open precision and let's go to generate. And let me show you what it does now. So I have already tried this uh, before. And let me just show you, I was going through one of these images. Uh, let me show you this one. So here in my slider, I'll show you what was the before and after. So this was before and this was after. Uh, now, some important things to note here is that, you know, if you have a really, really problematic background, then things might get confused. But then it is still a huge game changer, right? Like it is supremely useful. And check this out. So it was able to change my outfit. It was able to adapt to the lighting and check this out. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. And you can do this on and on. You can do this for multiple explorations. I was doing this for multiple outfits, multiple sizes, multiple images. You can see uh, there are so many things that you can do with this. And I would strongly recommend you folks to try pictures of you, your friends and different places. There are so many templates right here. It's unbelievable that you have indoor, outdoor, uh, pure background colors. If you want your own custom background, you can do that as well. So the amount of creativity here is absolutely immense. Now for this feature, your core service can be around editing social media models and campaign pictures. You can run this for photography studios at ease. And I'm pretty sure this feature is the easiest to sell. Now let's quickly revise everything we learned today, along with concrete call to actions for practically using this knowledge. We first learned sketch rendering that can be used for rapid prototyping and product visualization. Then we learned background diffusion that can be used for product photography. And in the end, we learned about AI supermodels that can basically change your outfits and basically help you get more inspiration as a stylist. Your call to action is to number one, comment which feature you will try today and for which use case. I want you to figure out where can you plug this as a service. Number two, go to the link in my bio and try this tool for free. Number three, make something cool and put it on LinkedIn and tag me so that I can see what you've made. And I also want you to describe the thought process behind taking that specific picture and making it go through a specific filter. Now, even though you can use prompt for free, the base plan of $19 per month allows you to generate images way, way faster. And if you want to use their images for commercial use, 
you need to get their standard plan which is for 39 dollars per month that standard plan also gives you ai video generation comment below if you want more detailed tutorials on all the other features in prom including their ai video features because that is something we've not covered today but i personally feel is very very exciting because this one single tool can also upscale your low resolution images create image variations where you put in an input image and a style image and it would blend both of them it can also extend image boundaries and create 3d text for your posters and to be honest there's a lot more and let me know in the comment section if you want detailed videos on those as well make sure you click on subscribe and hit the bell icon because we regularly come up with free courses on creativity and technology you can learn ai for free by visiting howtoprom.in and ux design for free by visiting learnuiux.in as well with that being said i hope that you're taking care of your mind and body this is your dost ansh mehra signing out if you enjoyed this video then do check out this video of the same series i am sure that it will help you even more